working with Community Nurse. I'm Barbara Canuel and I'm the dietitian with Community Nurse Home Care. At Community Nurse, we offer in-home services for nursing therapies, uh, we have our hospice program, private care, and we also offer some wellness programs. Today's program is under our wellness umbrella, and we are making a nice fall recipe today. We're going to be making acorn squash with brown rice and turkey sausage stuffing. For today's program, um, we are going to work through all of these from the comfort of my home, considering we're still in the midst of our COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to welcome you to enjoy this uh, particular cooking program and hopefully you can use the recipe that will be offered at the end of today's show and you can make the same recipe at home. To begin, we're going to use acorn squash. So I've cut the acorn squash prior to today's program. The acorn squash is a great source of vitamin A and we are also going to have a nice source of potassium and fiber. This is a wonderful fall vegetable, so our focus here is trying to get some locally grown products that we can add into our fall menu planning. What you're going to do is cut the acorn squash in half, and I have spooned out the seeds that were in the center. After this, you take the squash and you're going to put it in a microwave safe plate face down. And then this is going to go into the microwave for eight to nine minutes on high. So we have one that was done in advance. So we want to be sure that the squash is fork tender, which this one is. Now it's going to be time to move on to our, our stuffing. So taking a skillet, you want a nonstick skillet. We have a tablespoon of olive oil. So we're going to add that to the skillet. And for today, we're going to be using chicken Italian sausage. So with the chicken Italian sausage, I've just cut this down so that it's not going to be really large chunks. But once this goes into the skillet, we're going to want to go ahead and press this with a fork or a spoon in order to break it down into smaller pieces. So we'll add this into our skillet. Go ahead and start breaking this up. The beauty with this recipe is that it is only about 365 calories for the portion. So this is a nice low fat alternative. Um, this is a little bit of sodium, and I know I tend to talk to a lot of patients about lower sodium alternatives, but everything else that is in this recipe is extremely low, so we're able to manage this as a fairly low sodium alternative. Now we also have ready to be added in once this is finished cooking, we have a medium onion that has been chopped, and we also have a medium red bell pepper that has also been chopped. So we're just gonna allow for this to do its thing with cooking, and then we can add in some additional ingredients. Okay, so the turkey sausage is all cooked. We're gonna put that in a bowl. And now to the same skillet, we are going to add our peppers and our onions that were already cut. these to saute for about six to eight minutes. So while that is cooking, the acorn squash, we are now going to take some of the center of this. We're going to leave about a quarter of an inch around the edge. And the rest of the squash is going to be added into our bowl with our sausage.
this is going to get mixed together. Now, the month of September is actually whole grain month. So to this recipe, we're going to be adding brown rice. This is par-cooked brown rice. That's why we're using the Minute Rice product. The benefits of using whole grains are many. So we look at people who have more whole grains in their diet having less risk for obesity. We also see that people with diabetes tend to have better blood sugar control when they include whole grains versus using a lot of the white or refined grain types of products. In addition to that, we also find that people who are working on lowering their cholesterol level and maintaining a heart healthy diet will have better blood cholesterol levels with increased fiber in their intake. Additionally, whole grains are very good for our digestive health, so we do encourage people to try to include more whole grains in their daily meal planning. Women should be eating about 25 to 27 grams of dietary fiber per day, and men should be eating about 35 grams of dietary fiber per day. So this will offer us fiber between the squash as well as a fiber source coming from our brown rice. I'm just going to take a peek at our peppers and onions again. being done. Okay, so our peppers and onions have finished cooking. We're going to go ahead and add these to the sausage and squash. And now we're going to include, it's a scant two cups of par-cooked brown rice. So we do not have to have this prepared in advance between the moisture of the squash that has been added and the moisture of the squash that is still there. We are going to put this together. This recipe is going to make enough to fill four acorn squash halves. So the other two are in the microwave now, but we will stuff these two. And once these are stuffed, we're going to put these in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Just want to make sure this is mixed all the way through. Okay. So now we can stuff our squash. is nice and colorful. Okay, almost ready. So we have a prepared cookie sheet with foil on it. I'm gonna place these halves on the foil. We'll put just a little bit more on the top of this one. Round that out a bit. There we go. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and place these in a 375 oven for 20 minutes. is what our plate will look like and with a nice garden salad we can enjoy so this will offer us wonderful nutrients that are going to help us to maintain health and wellness we really appreciate your time today as you've joined us for cooking with community nurse 
If you'd like to know anything more about the services that we offer through Community Nurse, I'd encourage you to go to communitynurse.com and you can learn about any of the different programs that we do offer. So again, thanks for your time today.